Bhagavad Lila, chapter, 10th canto, chapter 54, Krishna Rukmini Vivaha, Lila, the marriage of Krishna Rukmini. Being struck with Rukmini's beauty as she left the Durga temple after performing the preliminary rites for her marriage, all the assembled princes had fallen to the ground from their horses, bereft of all reason. Now enraged, they got up, grabbed their bows, and surrounded by their armies, they chased Krishna in great haste. Upon seeing this, the commanders of the Yadu army turned and attacked them and showered them with arrows. Observing the fierce fight, Rukmini, while standing on a chariot, shyly gazed upon Krishna's face with fear in her eyes and she expressed her gratitude for Krishna having taken such a risk for her sake. Krishna just laughed and replied, Do not be afraid, beautiful-eyed one. The enemy will soon be destroyed by our soldiers. Krishna laughingly said, You need not fear because your army will defeat the enemy. To express his great affection for Rukmini, Krishna gallantly referred to his own Yadava army as, quote, your men, in verse 5, indicating that Krishna's entire dynasty was now the property of his beloved queen, Rukmini. The Yadu her- heroes, headed by Balaram and Gada, they could not tolerate this aggression, so they struck down the opposing warriors with their arrows. Soon the battlefield was strewn with millions of severed heads and hands, dead animals and smashed chariots. The survivors, headed by Jarasan, ran away from the battlefield, thinking it was not a good time to fight. Fate was not favoring him. All these kings approached Shishupal, who was very sad and his face all dried up. Jarasan tried to encourage Shishupal. Listen, O tiger among men, give up your grief. After all, a person's happiness and distress are never permanent, as a puppet dances to the will of the puppeteer. In this world, we all act under the control of the Supreme Lord. I myself, I fought with Krishna 18 times, and I only won once. I never lamented or rejoiced. For I knew that fate controls everything. Now we're defeated, but by fate in the future we shall conquer. Shishapal and all the other kings returned home. Rukmi, however, Rukmini's brother, was especially envious of Krishna. He could not tolerate that he kidnapped his sister Rukmini. He put on his armor and said, I shall not come back to Kundina until I kill Krishna and bring Rukmini back with me. I swear this. So then he told his driver, Go quickly where Krishna is. This wicked coward boy, infatuated with his puny strength, has taken my sister. But today I shall cut his false pride down with my arrows. Vishnath explains that this same statement of Rukmini can be taken from the viewpoint of Goddess Saraswati. And Rukmi was actually saying, Today the intoxication of pride I have in my own prowess will be removed by the sharp arrows of the coward boy whose beautiful mind is compassionate even toward the wicked. Duramate, text 22. Rukmi challenged Krishna by saying, Stand and fight! O defiler of your dynasty. But according to the inspiration of Saraswati, these words that Rukmi spoke could be taken as, O protector of your Yadu dynasty, and O expert killer of enemies. Stand here a moment, so I may glance upon you. Rukmi said, You are taking my sister like a crow steals a sacrificial offering. Today, O fool, I will take away your pride in being a false warrior and cheater. 
Another meaning of what Rukmini said, Rukmi said in verse 25 is, Since my sister Rukmini is Mahalakshmi, that belongs to you, whether you steal her or not, wherever you go, she is your own essence, Swasaram. After releasing my sister from you, I will bring her back to my house, just as a crow steals a sacrificial butter. Please break the pride of this false warrior, myself, who is a fool and a cheater. Text 26. Release this girl before you lie on the battlefield, having been killed by my arrows, Krishna. Another meaning is, because you are not killed by my arrows, do not release the girl. And Krishna replied, but why should I keep this girl? Rukmi. This is verse 26. The word is there. Shaita. Rukmi said, So you can lie down, Shaita. Although, Vishnu says, Although Rukmini did not say it, the sentence becomes complete with the phrase, You can, Shaita, lie down with Rukmini, my sister, on a bed of flowers. In fact, Krishna was meant to lie down with Rukmini on a beautiful bed of flowers. But out of shyness, Rukmi did not directly mention it. There was a small battle, and Krishna arrested Rukmini and was ready to kill him. And then Rukmini was thinking, what will people think if they know that my brother was killed before my eyes by my bridegroom? Rukmini was filled with fear because of this, not out of affection for her brother. The prema of the queens of Dwarka is known as samanjasa, proper love. It's dependent on public opinion, whereas the prema of the Brajagopis, known as samarta prema, is much stronger because it is not dependent at all on the opinion of the public. Grantaraj Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe